Welcome to today's episode of Class B Confessions, where we answer your frequently asked questions about living in a Class B RV. We've been living in our Airstream Interstate for over two years now, and we can't wait to share what we've learned with you. My name's Aaron, this is my wife Chris, who's Irene, and let's get into it. Today's question was all about leveling. If we use leveling blocks and how we level our van upon parking. That is a good question. And interestingly enough, the first, I'd say a year and a half in the van, we did not carry leveling blocks. And there were certainly times when we needed them and would have loved to have had them, but we didn't carry them simply because of space and storage. So when we were back home um, this past summer, Aaron's dad and uh, her, his wife, they gifted us a set of blocks, which we accepted, and we've been using them quite regularly since then. So thank you for that gift, and we're gonna see if we need them here and show you our process for getting level. All right, so we just backed up out in the middle of the desert here and our system we've showed a few times before, but it's literally just this little level bubble. And you can see that we are fairly level. It's amazing how well these sprinter vans or short vans are, are just pretty level as you go. And that's how we did it. So before we had the blocks, we would do this exact step with the leveler, and then if it wasn't level, we would just reposition our van, like reverse it and pull it forward, and pull it into slightly different positions to see if we could just use the earth. So let's uh, throw a few leveler blocks underneath the back to raise that up just uh, a little bit, and we should be pretty good at that point. Should be an easy one. Okay, ready. So in front of me, right? Yeah, you're backing up onto these. Oh, yep. Okay. You don't do that approach very often. Yeah, it's just a little one. You're on it. See if you stay level. So when you're leveling from front to back, it's not as critical to be perfectly level as side to side is, because when you're side to side, your drawers will fly open and your cabinets will swing open. But That's true. From front to back, it's mostly just your sleeping position that you need to worry about and blood flow of your head and things like that. So I think we'll be fine. We find any part of the bubble in the bubble, yeah. we really don't notice much at all at that yeah, point. Yeah, if you're in it, like, this is fine. All right, let's mark it up. Okay. So we ended up moving a little bit further so we have a bit more of a area for our rug to go. We were a little close to this cactus here. So that threw us off a little bit more where we had to put two on this side and still just one on the other side. I would say though that taking that extra step is going to, actually taking all the extra steps is going to make it much more comfortable. The blocks here, you can see how much space he's taken. Honestly, that's why we didn't get them right away. That's a, a big square that we didn't have space in our back and they just kind of now float around the van. Yeah, but now we are boondocking a yep. lot more, so it makes sense, even in some camp parks, some RV parks. Yeah, but them. to answer the question, I would say you need them if you're gonna do boondocking mm -hmm. and you don't if you're gonna be doing a lot of cities and, and uh, established campgrounds. That's what well, we did the whole first year and we didn't we didn't need them yeah. but uh there is also you know these are the most common style just the blocks 
the reason why we didn't get like the Anderson levelers or the other styles, they're just, they're too big. We don't have space on our van. We have seen some versions though that have holes. Like yes. These are all holes. And those would be a lot nicer because when it rains, these just collect water that sits. And of course, when you're packing up, you want everything to be dry. Usually, if you know it's raining in a couple days before you take off, you'll pack up while it's dry. But you can't do that with these because you're Last up. thing. So yeah, I'm glad you said that, actually. I uh, recorded footage of that from about four months ago because we had one set that was holes and one set that was not and this one was completely dirty filled with mud water and the other ones were pretty much clean whose were those that we were borrowing chris's chris's but you better make space for them because they do take up a little bit especially in a van where our entire back garage is filled because it's pretty small we can't fit much back there but i am gonna start to use these multi-purpose them to do like step ups and stuff when i work out put them to some secondary usage. So thank you so much for watching and send through your questions that you want us to do a little confession on and a little trick on how we go about van life and that was horrible. What little trick? <laughs> what trick are you talking about? <laughs> I was not prepared. So thank you so much for watching and uh, please drop a comment or send a question. Let us know what you're interested in learning more about and we will keep the topics coming. Bye! We've been sliding since I don't remember when